don't know. The Postal Service and FedEx got to my house okay. But all these people did not get the UPS deliveries they were waiting for. And now the carrier says some people may not get their packages until well after Christmas. Good evening. I'm Tom Mustin. Kathy is off tonight. At this hour, the UPS Processing Center in Commerce City is scheduled to close. But right now, there's a long line of people still trying to get those holiday packages that were not delivered to their homes. UPS says our snowstorm earlier this week caused the problem. That storm delayed getting the packages to Colorado. In some cases, drivers couldn't make deliveries because of unplowed side streets. CBS 4's Howard Nathan has been at the UPS facility in Commerce City all afternoon. Howard, has that line gotten any smaller since we spoke to you a couple hours ago? Tom, much, much smaller than we were talking about two hours ago. That's the front door, but many more dozens of people still inside. The line was much longer about 10 minutes or so ago, but then a UPS official came out and said, if you have one of those sticky notes, then stay. But if you didn't get one of those sticky notes on your door yesterday, then chances are you will not get your package. Also, some people have been getting phone calls, and many people have been staying online for hours at a time. We've also seen some people showing up here thinking they were going to get their package, but then they would leave empty-handed. And here we are, a lot of people upset they don't have their package on Christmas Eve. Uh, I was told to come down here this morning and wait in line. Once we got here, we were told that we could basically roll in the dice on whether or not we're going to get anything. If I don't have my gifts, I guess my kids are young enough that we can pretend it's another day. Otherwise, if I have my packages, everybody's happy. Now, as of this morning, there were 50,000 packages that did not get delivered. The bulk of them wound up in a processing center across this parking lot, and then eventually they were ferried over here to customer service. But why no delivery? UPS is blaming it on the snowstorm. The really bad snowstorm that you had earlier this week in Denver, that delayed a lot of the packages actually getting into the metropolitan area. So those packages weren't able to be processed. We hate for anyone to be disappointed, um, but again, like I said, we can't control the weather. Now, a spokeswoman in Atlanta from UPS told me that because Denver doesn't plow its side streets during the snowstorm, they didn't deliver packages. Of course, many people here, not necessarily from Denver, and also the drivers have the option if they think it is too dicey to drive on snow or ice, they will not deliver the package. As for now, 5 o'clock is when this building, this customer service center, was supposed to be closed, but what they're saying here to the customers is that if you're here online, you have one of those sticky notes delivered to your door yesterday, then stay here. Here, they'll work until they get rid of the people, until they get rid of the packages delivered to the people. So those who are here may be here for another hour or so. We'll see. We'll keep monitoring. That's the story from here. Reporting live from Commerce City, we are, we are live. Howard Nathan, CBS4 News. Back to you, Tom. Sounds like a lot of unhappy folks. All right. Thanks, Howard. We'll talk to you in just a bit. Now, several CBS4 viewers sent us emails about the delivery problems UPS is having. If you have a story idea, call 303-863-TIPS. The number's on your screen. You can also visit our website, cbsdenver.com.